Ever thought about living in New Zealand as a foreigner? Wondered what life would be like in this beautiful land? Well, you're not alone. Each year, thousands of people from all corners of the world choose to make this stunningly scenic country their new home. But as with any major life decision, there's a lot to consider. That's why we've crafted this comprehensive guide to help you navigate the ins and outs of surviving and thriving in New Zealand as a foreigner. We'll be delving into everything from understanding the Kiwi culture to securing the right visas and permits, finding a place to live, managing your cost of living, nailing a job, and even making new friends. It's a thrilling journey that awaits you, filled with unique experiences, mesmerizing landscapes, and rich cultural heritage. So buckle up and let's embark on this exciting journey together. This is your step-by-step -step guide to making New Zealand your new home. To thrive in any foreign land, understanding its culture and lifestyle is key. Now let's take a closer look at the unique aspects of New Zealand's culture. New Zealand, or Aotearoa as it is known in Maori, is a land of friendly and welcoming locals. Kiwis, as they are affectionately known, are renowned for their hospitality. They have a reputation for being warm, friendly, and eager to share their love for their country with visitors. So don't hesitate to strike up a conversation or ask for directions. You'll find that people are always willing to lend a hand or share a story. Speaking of stories, New Zealand is a country rich in cultural heritage. The Maori culture in particular plays a significant role in everyday life. From the haka, a traditional war dance that you might recognize from the All Blacks rugby team, to the beautiful Maori language heard across the country, these elements of Maori culture are interwoven into the fabric of New Zealand society. Experiencing this culture firsthand is a must for anyone looking to understand the heart of this beautiful country. But the heart of New Zealand doesn't just beat within its culture, it pulses through its breathtaking landscapes. New Zealanders have a deep-seated love for the outdoors. From glacier hiking in the South Island to sailing in the Bay of Islands, outdoor activities are a significant part of Kiwi life. This love for nature is reflected in the country's commitment to conservation and the preservation of its unique biodiversity. As a foreigner, embracing the Kiwi way of life means getting involved in these outdoor adventures. Whether it's hiking, cycling, or simply enjoying a picnic at one of the country's many beautiful parks, there are countless ways to immerse yourself in the Kiwi lifestyle. New Zealand is a country that embraces diversity and values inclusion. By taking the time to understand its culture and way of life, you'll find that adapting to life in this beautiful country is a rewarding and enriching experience. Before we pack our bags, let's talk legality, visas and permits. Now, if you're planning to reside in New Zealand, the type of visa you apply for is of utmost importance. Let's explore the different visa types available. First, we have the visitor visa, ideal for those wanting to explore the country for up to nine months. But remember, you can't take up employment on this visa. Then there's the work visa, perfect for those seeking employment opportunities in New Zealand. To acquire this, you'll need an offer of employment from a New Zealand employer. For those wanting to study in this beautiful country, there's the student visa. You'll need a confirmed place in a New Zealand institution to apply for this one. If you're looking to start a business or invest, you might want to consider the investor or entrepreneur visa. For this, you'll need a detailed business or investment plan and sufficient funds. And finally, for those who've already fallen in love with the country and wish to make it their permanent home, there's the residence visa. However, this requires meeting certain criteria, such as having skills that are in demand or having a family member who's a New Zealand resident or citizen. Now, let's touch on work permits. If you've secured a job offer and have a work visa, you'll likely need a work permit. This is typically arranged by your employer, and it confirms your legal status to work in the country. Remember to research and understand the requirements of each visa, as they vary greatly. Make sure you have all the necessary documents and ensure they're up to date. It's also worth noting that processing times can differ, so it's best to apply well in advance. And there you have it a brief overview of the visas and permits you'll need to make New Zealand your new home. Remember, it's essential to have all legal documents in order before making the move. Securing a comfortable place to live is a priority. This statement is true regardless of where you are in the world and New Zealand is no exception. When it comes to housing, 
The land of the long white cloud offers a spectrum of options that cater to a variety of budgets and lifestyle preferences. In New Zealand, the housing market is as diverse as its stunning landscapes. From bustling city apartments in Auckland to idyllic cottages in the Canterbury Plains, the choices are abundant. The cost of housing, whether renting or buying, varies significantly across the regions. In larger cities like Auckland and Wellington, you can expect higher prices. A typical two-bedroom apartment in the city centre can cost around $1,500 New Zealand dollars per month to rent. If you're interested in buying, the median house price in Auckland is around $1 million New Zealand dollars. If you're looking for something more affordable, cities like Christchurch and Dunedin offer lower housing costs. In these regions, you can rent a similar two-bedroom apartment for around $1,000 New Zealand dollars per month. The median house price in these areas hovers around the $500,000 mark. But let's not forget about the more rural areas where you can find charming houses with generous backyards. In these serene locations, the cost of property significantly drops, making it an attractive option for those who prefer peace and tranquility over city buzz. The process of finding a home in New Zealand is fairly straightforward. There are numerous online platforms and real estate agencies that can assist you in your search. It's also common to find rental properties through word of mouth, especially in smaller communities. New Zealand law protects tenants' rights, so you can expect a fair and transparent process when securing a rental property. As for home buyers, there are no restrictions on foreigners owning property in New Zealand, making it an attractive option for those planning to settle long-term. Finding a home that suits your needs and budget will make your transition smoother. So whether you're a city dweller, a beach lover, or a countryside enthusiast, New Zealand's housing market has something for everyone. Let's talk money. What does it cost to live comfortably in New Zealand? Now, the cost of living in any country can be a tricky beast to tame. In New Zealand, it's no different. But don't worry, we're going to break it down for you. Groceries, the basic necessity for anyone. For a single person in New Zealand, you could be looking at around 150 to 200 New Zealand dollars a month for groceries. That's right, it's not exactly cheap. But remember folks, you're paying for quality. New Zealand is known for its fresh locally sourced produce. Next up, utilities. Your monthly utilities, including electricity, heating, cooling, water, and garbage, could set you back around $150. Add in about $80 for the internet and another 30 for your mobile plan. Then there's transportation. If you're using public transportation, you'll spend around $150 a month. But if you're thinking of owning a car, you'll need to consider costs like fuel, insurance, and maintenance, which could take your monthly transportation costs up to around $300. And let's not forget about entertainment. New Zealand boasts some of the most beautiful landscapes on earth, and luckily nature is free. But if you're thinking about dining out, going to the movies, or joining a gym, you might need to budget another couple hundred dollars a month. So all in all, you're probably looking at a monthly cost of living around $2,000, give or take. Sure, it's not the cheapest place on earth to live, but remember, you're paying for an incredibly high quality of life. The clean air, the stunning landscapes, the friendly people, the safety, it's all part of the package. With careful planning, you can manage your expenses effectively. Remember, it's not just about surviving, but thriving in this beautiful country. So buckle up, get your finances in order, and get ready for the adventure of a lifetime in New Zealand. Employment is a crucial aspect to consider when moving to a new country. So let's delve into the job market in New Zealand, a land of diverse opportunities. New Zealand's economy is robust and dynamic, with a strong focus on sectors such as agriculture, tourism, and manufacturing. These sectors are always on the lookout for talent, making them popular choices for expatriates. But that's not all. The information technology and healthcare sectors have also seen significant growth in recent years, opening up a plethora of opportunities for those with the right skills. Agriculture is the backbone of New Zealand's economy, with a particular emphasis on dairy farming and viticulture. If you have a knack for working with your hands and don't mind the occasional mud, this could be your calling. Tourism, on the other hand, is a thriving sector, thanks to New Zealand's stunning landscapes and rich Maori culture. Jobs in this industry are diverse, 
ranging from tour guides and hotel staff to adventure sports instructors. The manufacturing sector is also a significant player in the economy, making everything from dairy products to machinery. Roles in this sector can be as varied as the products they produce, providing opportunities for a wide range of skill sets. Of course, we can't forget about the booming IT and healthcare sectors. New Zealand is home to several tech startups and established software companies, while the healthcare sector is always in need of skilled professionals, from nurses to specialists. When it comes to salaries, they can vary widely depending on the sector and level of expertise. However, the average annual salary in New Zealand is around 50,000 New Zealand dollars, which is comfortably above the global average. In conclusion, New Zealand's job market is diverse and dynamic offering opportunities for people from all walks of life. Whether you're an experienced professional or just starting your career, you're likely to find a role that suits your skills and interests. New Zealand offers diverse job opportunities, making it a great place for career growth. Building a social network is key to feeling at home in a new place. And New Zealand, with its friendly people and vibrant social scene, is no exception. So. How do you go about making friends in this beautiful island country? Let's dive in. Firstly, don't be shy to strike up a conversation. Kiwis, as New Zealanders affectionately call themselves, are known for their friendly and approachable demeanor. Whether you're standing in line at a cafe or taking a walk in one of the country's stunning parks, don't hesitate to spark up a chat. Secondly, consider joining a club or group that aligns with your interests. From hiking and rugby clubs to book clubs and cooking classes, there's something for everyone. Joining a club is an excellent way to meet like-minded individuals and form lasting friendships. Another way to immerse yourself in the community is through volunteering. New Zealand has a strong culture of community involvement, with many locals dedicating their time to causes they care about. Volunteering not only helps you connect with the community, but also provides an opportunity to give back and make a difference. Also, don't forget about networking events. These can be related to your profession or just general meetups. Websites like meetup.com have a wide range of groups in New Zealand, from tech meetups to language exchanges, and these events are a great way to meet new people. Lastly, embrace the local culture. Attend local festivals, visit farmers markets, and engage in traditional Maori customs and activities. By showing interest in the local way of life, you're more likely to strike a chord with the locals and make lasting friendships. Remember, the key to making friends in any new place is to be open, approachable, and genuine. Make the first move, show interest in others, and don't be afraid to put yourself out there. In New Zealand, you'll find a warm and welcoming community waiting to embrace you. So take a deep breath, step out of your comfort zone, and get ready to make some unforgettable friendships in the land of the long white cloud. Surviving in New Zealand as a foreigner is about more than just the logistics. It's about plunging into the heart of Kiwi culture, embracing the local lifestyle and carving out a space for yourself in this vibrant corner of the world. We've journeyed through understanding the land of the long white cloud, navigating the legalities, finding a place to call home and managing the cost of living. We've delved into the work scene and explored the social rhythm of New Zealand. But the real adventure, the true essence of this experience, lies in embracing the Kiwi life. Remember, adapting to a new culture is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. Dive into the local customs. Don't shy away from the Maori haka dance or the thrill of a rugby match. Embrace the unique Kiwi slang and let sweet as and churbro become a part of your vocabulary. Take time to appreciate the beauty of the land, the serenity of the lakes, the majesty of the mountains. Let the rhythm of nature and the laid back lifestyle slow your pace. Enjoy the local food from the traditional hangi to the iconic fish and chips. Remember to respect the land, the people and their customs. New Zealand is a country that holds its traditions and environment in high regard. Your respect and appreciation for these values will not only help you blend in, but also enrich your experience. Above all, be open to new experiences, be patient with yourself and don't shy away from seeking help when you need it. Kiwis are known for their friendly and helpful nature. Reach out, connect, and you'll find yourself becoming a part of this warm and welcoming community. If you've enjoyed this virtual tour of New Zealand and are intrigued enough to consider it for your next adventure, why not give this video a thumbs up? 
Your likes are the compass that guides us in creating content that you love. And if you're already a part of our travel loving community, thank you. You are the wind beneath our wings. If you're new here and you found value in this video, consider joining the family. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to ensure you never miss out on a new destination.